Welcome to another edition of the Recruiting Scoop. I'm Jared Johnson, and I have exciting news for Red Raider fans out there. I assume many of you know this by now, but uh, man, not only did Texas Tech announce the hiring of Joey McGuire, but he wasted no time in sending out a ton of offers, and they picked up a trio of commits. I don't think this is any surprise that those the trio of commits came from Cedar Hill, which, I mean... Cedar Hill is a school you want a pipeline to, and I mean, that program was built by Joe McGuire, so it, it all makes sense. Um, three guys, bam, three three star commits um, committed to the Red Raiders Monday night, and they, I want to give you an idea, it raised the national ranking by like 15 spots, and it raised the ranking within the Big 12 Tech's 2022 class from 9th to 7th, so he was here hours, and that's the kind of recruiting impact that Joey McGuire has already made. But let's talk about these recruits. The first one to announce was uh, Jalen Peoples. And he's a six foot, 175 pound uh, cornerback. Um, he's, like I said, a three star guy. He is ranked as the number 48 cornerback in the country and the number 60, uh, 65 overall player in Texas, which is, hey, man, getting Texas top 100. I like it, you know. Um, some of the guys he chose, or some of the teams that he chose Tech over, include Baylor, Kansas, Kansas State, and UW. But the guy has over 30 offers, so um, those were just some of the the main players there. Um, but Peoples was a very coveted uh, cornerback. He said he shut down his recruitment. That's it. Thanks to all the coaches, but I'm going to Tech. Guns up. So uh, Monday night, that, he was the first guy uh, to announce, and you know that's. That's really exciting stuff, to be honest. Um, I, Tech needs help in the secondary. He's a talented guy. He's choosing the Red Raiders over several other Power Five programs. You know, I, I've watched his highlights once, so I'm not going to pretend like I could just break down exactly what he what he brings. There's a lot going on, <laughs> but uh, Peoples is a good football player. You talk to other, I've talked to a couple of people, and they're like, "Yeah, he, he's he's a legit." Division one power five DB, you know, he, he needs to be developed some, but yeah, he's got size, speed, all that, been playing at a very high level of, of competition. So you like that. And, and then, man, two defensive linemen, which is always welcome news in radio, man, right? Bringing in uh, some, some, some of those big uglies there on the, on the defensive line, which we all know tech, tech needs. Uh, this guy, Harvey Dyson, was the next guy. Now, he's by the composite, he's ranked. At, you know he's unranked actually, but by 24/7 Sports he's a three star. So this guy's a legit three star, six three two sixty. So already already big. He's actually ranked as the number 189 overall defensive lineman in the country by 24/7 uh, Sports. But again, I mean if you talk about the rankings are one thing, and obviously I, I you know 24/7 Sports is the best. They do a great job with the rankings, but. I think it's also worth like looking at uh, what other teams offered him, and he has other Power Five offers such as Arizona, Kansas State, uh, you know those two schools, and then also you know, SMU, uh, you know, offered him New Mexico State. So, I mean, he chose Tech over two other Power Five offers, including an in-state or in-conference rival in Kansas State. So, I mean, sign me up for you know some some more defensive line talent. And speaking of. More defensive line talent. The third guy to uh, to commit to, to Texas Tech on Monday night is Sincere Massey. And this guy, man, 6'5", 280 pounds. Uh, he's, a, he's in the top 160th, you know, number 166 in Texas, according to 24-7 Sports. And he's, uh, you know, the number 155 overall defensive lineman. Uh, but, man, he de decommitted from Arizona State Monday night. I mean, he... He flipped from Arizona State to Tech within like an hour or whatever in terms of announcing everything. Uh, so that was really exciting to see and, and kind of follow. Uh, I was there with everybody to follow that and uh, had heard that was happening and just to see it all unfold was exciting. But again, he decommitted from Arizona State to commit to Tech. He also holds offers from uh, reported offers from Kansas, LSU, Missouri, UCF, U, uh, USC, Utah State, UNLV, and Western Kentucky. So another guy um, being recruited by a lot of schools, including some Power 5 schools. I mean, he's already 6'5", 280, so size ain't going to be a problem. I mean, he could play at that size today. You know, of course, he needs to get developed and stronger and all that. But uh, just really exciting to add this kind of talent on the first day. Um 
Joey McGuire was hired Monday. He hadn't even been introduced yet as, as of taping this, but uh, three Cedar Hill guys. And his connections throughout the state are going to lend more of this kind of talent. Um, recruiting at Texas Tech, Texas Tech football, it is it's changed now. It's going to be very exciting to cover, to follow. And, uh, you know, bottom line is they're going to bring more talent in, which with the end hope, right, the end game of winning more football games. It's more <laughs> we're all trying to get to is will this will this hire bring you more talent will that talent bring more more w's and i believe so but we have to see it play out the first indication with this trio of, of commits uh sure is nice it sure is a good indication so i'm looking forward to seeing how it all unfolds we'll have a ton of recruiting coverage team coverage uh you know the coaching staff who all is going to be added all that uh, coverage on inside the river so hang with us with that i want to thank you for watching until next time.